Hi, and uh, today I'm going to show you how you can update the URL of your SharePoint document library by using a Power Ultimate flow. So let's get started. So first of all, let me show you the library. Um, the library is a project design documents library. Um, what I want is to change the address of this library. So in here you can see it's pretty lengthy. And I'm going to do that by uh, running a flow. So let me first test run it for you so you can actually see the end result so when I test run it in the flow I have a couple of options uh, to enter the current name and address of the library so in this case it's project design documents and then the new uh, address I prefer a bit of a shorter address so let's call it PDD and then run it And when that has succeeded and you go back to your site, you should see that the, the library has an updated address. So as you can see, that has succeeded in this case. So that's the aim for today. So yeah, how can we achieve this? So let's go to our flow setup and let me talk you through that flow setup. Um, so as you can see, there are four actions. It's a manual trigger and three sent an HTTP request actions. So that's the high level setup. So let me show you the steps one by one. Um, the first step is a manually trigger a flow um, that has two input variables. Uh, you can choose uh, these here. So I've used two text ones and I call it library and new URL. So yeah, first set it up like that. Then the second one is to retrieve the ID of uh, the library we, we want to change. So pick a site address, uh, use a get method, and then use this uh, URI. So that's the API, web, lists, and the get by title. And the get by title uses the library name um, and then afterwards, uh, we're using, or at the, in the last part of URI, we're using a select query parameter to retrieve both the ID and the title. So that's important uh, to get those specific values. Um, also notice that we I'm using the no metadata headers. So that's really useful if you want to either uh, if you want to retrieve the response in a certain format. So that's why I'm using that. So that's uh, center HTTP request action number one. Um, the second action is to actually move um, the data or the library into its new location. So again, using the same site address, um, I'm using a parameter by the way in here, using a post method because this is an update or a merge, I should say. Um, and then in the URI, instead of referencing the title, uh, we're referencing the ID of the of the list. So in here you can see the same lists reference, but instead between the parentheses, you can see the GUID, uh, single quote, ID, and then closing single quote. So that's a difference compared to the earlier uh, request. And then from that um, um, from that list, we're using the root folder and the move to method. So the move to method is actually, yeah, what we use to update, um, yeah, that URL. And in here you can see the reference to the new URL. So that's where it's getting that part for uh, the updating uh, the address. Also notice that the, the headers are quite different. So for the get, it's only an accept and a content type header uh, key. Um, but in here, we're also using an if match uh, asterisk and an HTTP method merge. So also use that, be sure that you, you're using that. Um, the ID itself, it, it resolves as if it would be a dynamic property, but actually I used this body uh, ID reference, so that's an actual expression in here. So that's also good to know. 
So that's the move two. And then um, after that, it has done that. Technically, your address has already changed, but what it also does, it, it also updates the title of your library, but that's the part we don't want to change. So that's why we have a, a last action, which again is a post method or a post, yeah, is a post request. Uh, it's also referencing the GUID again. So it's reusing that same ID field in like in, in the request of the move to. Uh, it's using the same headers, but the only difference is it's using uh, a body in the in this request and in this body um, we're updating the title to the previous title so that's the title value is coming from this first action so from uh, what it was before we renamed the URL so this is a way of reverting back to the old display name so um, yeah that's in a nutshell how you can change the path of a library or the URL of a, a document library. So hopefully this is useful. Um, if you have any questions about this, yeah, feel free to add comments in the section below. Um, and otherwise, if you like it, um, be sure to subscribe to my channel or um, yeah, leave a comment on YouTube. Uh, thank you. Bye.